In this video, we're going to introduce you to a WordPress plugin called WP Optimize. The plugin is primarily used for basically just keeping your database clean. Uh, as you can see on my screen here, I've got the dashboard for WP Optimize open and we can see a few of the different things it does. Uh, but for all the wonderful things that it does, it's really, really, really easy to use. So we're just going to show you uh, how you can use this plugin uh, just to make sure you keep your WordPress database in good health. Uh, which will also obviously make sure that your WordPress website runs quite well, you know, very fast. Most of these options should hopefully be reasonably familiar to you. You can see we've got uh, the ability to clean uh, auto drafts, posts in trash, spam comments, and post revisions. Now, uh, they're the kinds of things that just sort of naturally accrue as you manage a WordPress website. You know, you're making new posts and getting comments. Uh, it's going to happen over time. Uh, it, but so this plugin just provides a great way to be able to clean those up if indeed the number does get quite large. You can then also choose to remove uh, any transient options, uh, pingbacks and trackbacks. So pingbacks and trackbacks are going to vary uh, based on how popular your website is and you know how you manage those individual options on your website. But transients are generally going to be more plugin related. So unless you're familiar with what the transient options are that you may be removing, I don't suggest that you go through with removing these. Uh, it may be worthwhile doing a little bit more research uh, before actually going and removing them. Uh, on the right hand side, we've got the actions column. Uh, we can optimize the database tables, which is a reasonably straightforward MySQL process anyway. And just below where you see the big blue process button to actually start uh, what we're out to achieve. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of information. So regarding the plugin, you can see there's no automatic optimization uh, in place at the moment or scheduled cleaning uh, and retention is currently disabled. We'll get to what those mean at the moment, but it's important to note that those are there uh, just for your knowledge so you can make decisions based on that. And then it just shows you the current database size and how much uh, you can save and what the total cleanup will achieve. So we're going to go ahead and click process now and it's already been completed. So you can get a smaller report of what's actually been done. So one post revision, uh, one auto draft and so on. Uh, but from there, we're gonna move into the tables tab of this plugin. And it's just a look at the different tables that exist on your database. The database name is obviously there up the top for you. Uh, it shows you the various records and the size thereof and the overall database size. So this is just a really good place that you can have a look at your database without uh, using the MySQL terminal. Uh, or alternatively something like PHP admin. Uh, this presents it in a much more easy to read format, but there's not a lot that you can actually achieve through here. So we're gonna move on to the settings area now. In the left-hand column, we have the ability to keep the last X amount of weeks of data. Two is the uh, default that's selected, but obviously this isn't turned on unless you check that box. That just means that uh, any post revisions or auto drafts or anything uh, that the plugin identifies can be cleaned. If they've occurred in the last two weeks, they won't actually be removed. It's probably really wise to use this for at least two weeks, especially if you publish quite a lot. Uh, maybe something will go wrong with the post and you'll want to go back to an earlier revision so that you can uh, update that accordingly. Uh, then you can also just choose to enable the admin bar link. So we'll just do that and hit save and we'll just refresh this screen so you can see it. It just goes up there. Uh, it's very similar to, you know, as you may have seen, if you run WordPress SEO, that puts an SEO item up in the menu there as well. So not too different from that. Use it if you want. Then over on the right hand side, we have the ability to turn on the auto cleanup. Uh, you probably remember from the primary screen of the plugin down the bottom on the right, it shows you that you don't currently have anything in this area enabled. Well, that's the case if you've just installed the plugin as I have. So you can turn that on to enable uh, schedule cleanup and optimization. Uh, as you can see, the default is weekly. You can do it every week, every other week, every month, uh, and so on. You can just choose something that's going to suit you and the site you have. Uh, and in, in a general sense, though, this feature is experimental. It's, it should be, for the most part, uh, safe to use because it's not doing anything outrageous to your database uh, that should or would compromise it. Uh, then you can just choose what you'd actually like to be enabled within that. And then just when you're ready, hit save. Uh, and if you go back into the main page, you can see that uh, these settings have updated there's no uh, automatic optimization uh, performed at this time. And we've just got some scheduling enabled there as well. So that's really all there is when you want to use this plugin. Uh, it's really, really simple to use and quite straightforward, I think. 
uh, but it actually does take care of quite a lot of the various database maintenance tasks that you probably find yourself performing anyway. Uh, and in my opinion, the less that you need to uh, get involved with your database, uh, the better. So you're left to really focus on running uh, the rest of your site and of course, you know, just producing content and you know, doing things that really provide value. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the, the ways in which you can keep your database healthy with WP Optimize. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below.